After someone was seemingly evicted from their home in Temple, their belongings were left out in the front lawn for almost a week, leaving neighbors fuming and stuck looking at a mess. Yeah, everybody was viewing it there, and I saw 6 News reporter Adriana Alexander pulled up to the home this morning just as neighbors were taking matters into their own hands. Adriana, they've had enough, huh? Yes, a messy, messy situation. And one thing seemed to be clear, people in the area, neither the landlord nor the former tenants were going to pick it up. So they did it themselves, but legally, who should have? On the intersection of a busy street and small neighborhood, a big mess consumed the front lawn of this home for at least five days. There's no word on how it got there, but these three neighbors were sick of seeing it. So they got to work to clean it up themselves. The trash was kind of piled up and I told my little girl yesterday, I said, we need to go help clean that up. They started cleaning up early Monday morning and finished about three hours later. When I was here, he was here and she came to join us. So you're more selfless than me. The mess included books, clothing, mattresses, and even some home appliances, but what was most seen was trash. I'm not sure who lives here or who owns the property, but I'm glad to help clean it up, you know, just so it'll look better and everybody passing by will see a clean yard again. While they live in the neighborhood, this isn't something they had to do. Temple Public Relations Specialist Allison O'Connor says the city of Temple isn't responsible either. This falls directly on the landlord. Technically, when it comes to private property, it is not the city's responsibility to pick up any trash or belongings that's left on that private property. If there is a next time, she says calling the city's code enforcement is what residents are recommended to do. We do appreciate them helping, but for future reference for them or for any of our residents, if you are, if you have this situation, please don't hesitate to call code enforcement. Just let us know what's going on and we will get out there. And, and you know, survey the area. Neighbors around the street were grateful to see that cleanup happen and then what they were done and three neighbors plan to donate what they can to charity guys. I'm glad they cleaned it up, but hopefully this won't have to happen again. Yeah, frustrating yeah. for everybody involved on that street. Yeah, because it might be private property, but everybody sure can't see what's mm -hmm. going on. There. Exactly. Yeah. Adriana, thank you so much. Still